Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be presenting to you some questions and answers on the poem Building the Nation by Christopher Henry Mwangabalu. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. Building the Nation is an example of a A. Post-independence poem B. Pre-colonial poem C. Colonial era poem D. Independence poem The correct answer to this question is A. Building the Nation is an example of a post-independence poem this poem criticizes a lavish lifestyle of A. Drivers B. Permanent secretaries C. Colonial masters D. The ruling class The correct answer to this question is D. This poem criticizes the lavish lifestyle of the ruling class. Which of the following is evidence in the poem? A. Shameless hypocrisy B. Sustainable development C. Progression D. Patriotism The correct answer to this question is A. Shameless hypocrisy Today I did my share in building the nation. What did the speaker do? A. He protected national property B. He defended his nation. C. He drove the permanent secretary to a meeting. D. He paid his taxes. The correct answer to this question is C. He drove the permanent secretary to a meeting. Today I did my share in building the nation. What is the speaker's occupation? A. A minister. B. A bank manager C. A driver D. A politician The correct answer to this question is C. A driver Today I did my share in building the nation. The speaker represents A. The colonial masters B. The masses C. The educated elites D. The politicians The correct answer to this question is B. The masses The poem highlights the hypocrisy of the African elites in their attempt to portray themselves as the real A. Nation builders B. Saviors C. Politicians D. Workers the correct answer to this question is B. Nation Builders The title of the poem, Building the Nation is A. Metaphoric B. Ironic C. Sarcastic D. Satirical The correct answer to this question is B. Ironic the two characters in the poem are A. The driver and the passenger B. The permanent secretary and his children C. The driver and the permanent secretary D. The politicians and the masses The correct answer to this question is C. The driver and the permanent secretary The permanent secretary is symbolic of their a. Colonial Masters B. Freedom Fighters C. The Ruling Class D. The Masses The correct answer to this question is C. The Ruling Class The two people whose lives are held up for scrutiny in the poem both suffer from A. Stomach ulcer B. Brutality 
C. Hypocrisy. D. Underdevelopment. The correct answer to this question is A. Stomach ulcer. The driver suffers from stomach ulcer as a result of A. Greediness of the permanent secretary. B. Hunger and starvation. C. Overeating. D. Heavy work burden. The correct answer to this question is B. Hunger and starvation. Why does the permanent secretary suffer from ulcer? A. He is busy with work. B. He doesn't check his diet. C. He overeats. D. He has no time to eat. The correct answer to this question is C. He overeats. The permanent secretary, as representative of the ideal African, A. Chief, B. Politician, C. Workers, D. Secretary. The correct answer to this question is B. Politician. Building the nation is an example of A. A. Sonnet, B. Ballad. C. Lyrical Poem D. Lulabi The correct answer to this question is C. Lyrical Poem Building the nation is a narrative poem because A. It expresses the driver's feelings B. It criticizes politicians C. It is lengthy D. It tells a story. The correct answer to this question is D. It tells a story. Which of the following is not evident in the poem? A. Hypocrisy. B. Mismanagement. C. Disillusionment. D. Forgery and falsification of documents. The correct answer to this question is D. Forgery and falsification of documents. The use of high sounding words in the poem implies that A. African politicians are intelligent. B. African politicians are sweet talkers. C. African politicians are cunning. D. We cannot build the nation on empty talk. The correct answer to this question is D. We cannot build a nation on empty talk. How many lines has the poem Building the Nation? A. 54 B. 34 C. 26 D. 17 The correct answer to this question is B. 34 the poet opens the poem by introducing us to the A. Parliament of the Permanent Secretary B. Driver of the Permanent Secretary C. Office of the Permanent Secretary D. Politicians The correct answer to this question is B. Driver of the Permanent Secretary The meeting which is described as an important urgent function, ironically turns out to be A. A meeting with girls B. A meeting with investors C. A luncheon at the Vic D. A corporate meeting The correct answer to this question is C. A luncheon at the Vic Ah, he continued, yawning again. What is the dominant device in this extract? A. Assonance B. Synecdoche C. Onomatopoeia D. Irony The correct answer to this question is C. Onomatopoeia Highly delicate diplomatic duties in the poem 
Best exemplifies the device. A apostrophe. B pun. C metaphor. D alliteration. The correct answer to this question is D alliteration. The second stanza describes a dash of the meeting. A menu. B guest. C agenda. D cost. The correct answer to this question is A. The second stanza describes the menu of the meeting. Did you have any lunch, friend? Who is the speaker? A. The driver. B. The permanent secretary. C. The poet. C. The waiters. The correct answer to this question is B. The permanent secretary. Did you have any lunch, friend? Friend in this extract refers to A. The minister. B. The waitress. C. The driver. D. The permanent secretary. The correct answer to this question is C. The driver. And secretly smiling at his belated concern. What is the dominant device in this estrat? A. Assonance. B. Alliteration. C. Consonance. D. Onomatopoeia. The correct answer to this question is B. Alliteration. The description of the menu depicts all but one of the following. A. Cost of the meal. B. Trivial nature of the meeting. C. Services of the restaurant. D. Lavish life of politicians. The correct answer to this question is C. Services of the restaurant. Which of the following is not a major theme of the poem? A. Misplaced priorities. B. Hypocrisy. C. Disillusionment. D. Resilience. The correct answer to this question is D. Resilience. Cold Bell Beer in the poem illustrates the device A. Simile. B. Apostrophe. C. Alliteration. D. Assonance. The correct answer to this question is C. Alliteration. The poem is an example of A or an A. Satire B. Prayer C. Ode D. Elegy The correct answer to this question is A. Satire the mood of the poet is captured by his use of A. Tone B. Atmosphere C. Diction D. Satire The correct answer to this question is C. Diction Which of the following captures the mood of the poem? A. Excitement B. Disappointment C. Fear and Panic D. Indifference The correct answer to this question is B. Disappointment The tone of the poem gives an impression of the speaker's A. Anger B. Compassion C. Indifference D. Disappointment. The correct answer to this question is D. Disappointment. The attitude of the poet towards the permanent secretary is that of A. Condemnation. B. Apathy. C. Indifference. D. Encouragement. The correct answer to this question is A. Condemnation. 
Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video.